Finally, the day has come when I hopefully get back to Thailand after two long years. Right. I swear, I wouldn't want to be doing this too often. I think I've got everything in there. Right, just wait for the taxi. If everything went my way, I'd turn night into day. As long as I'm around, the sun will never go down. So finally I was heading back to Thailand after two long years. Back to see my wife that I hadn't seen since I got married two years ago. It wasn't for the want of trying. I had two flights cancelled and then there was a bit of sickness in the family. But now was the time I was going to make it. So I was armed with a big wad of paperwork. Everything from vaccination certificates, Thailand passes, hotel bookings, insurance, you name it I had the whole lot. All I had to do now was get on the plane and get back to Bangkok. Well, I made a few chicken. Relatively easy, except you do need all the paperwork in order. Um, you will need your insurance, your Thailand pass, your uh, PCR results, your ASQ hotel booking, your visa if you're staying on the like it's 30 days, your COVID vaccination uh, certificate from the NHS or your equipment, and they also asked for the booking confirmation, which was a GOAT, as far as I can see, at least that's for me. One thing they did ask for, or she called me on, was that she said you haven't got a PCR test booked in uh, Bangkok. Uh, to which I replied, they didn't need to book one. It was part of the deal with, with part of the deal with the ASQ hotel. So you know they don't know everything. So uh, hopefully the, the next the next seat I'll be having will be on the plane. Hopefully, uh, just on the side notes. I would make sure you print everything off. Um, I've heard of people trying to do all of that by showing screens on the phone with different things with all the documents on. I can't imagine that working very well. The girl she, behind the desk, she wants the paperwork to go through and it'll make your life far easier and quicker to get through. So that's all. Uh, so the only thing to print away three copies of everything just to be sure of is, I don't know who else is going to be looking for these documents. Anyway, there we go. If everything went my way, I'd turn nights into day. As long as I'm around, the sun will never go down. If everything went my way, you'd never have an unhappy day. I hold nothing back. Come true.
sound. So the next thing was to get through all of the checks with all of the paperwork, which was relatively easy. Just been a little bit time consuming, but no problems. Through customs. Then you were taken to a waiting area at the front of the airport. You were assigned to a taxi, which was going to take you for your PCR test and then onto your hotel. Stay at the hotel then until you got your results and you were free to go. So I was staying at the Graceland Hotel, Sukhavit Soy 3, and that came in at around 4,300 baht, that was for the test as well. So that's roughly 98 uh, UK pounds, 132 dollars, 117 euros, and I think around 837 UNs for my Chinese friends. So while I was waiting for the results of the test, they bring you up a meal, you get one meal included in the price of the hotel. As usual, I always go for Pad Kapow. It is just my absolute favourite. And I don't know how it looks, but it tasted brilliant. So the next morning, I got the news, the test had come back negative. And I thought we'll have a couple of hours to kill before my good lady wife arrives at the hotel, so... Jumped on a tuk tuk and headed straight for something to eat. Oh, these things rattle. God, it was great to be back in Bangkok. How oh, I'd miss this place. take me someplace he goes for something to eat. It's never a bad old shout. Mm. If it's good enough for them, it'll be good enough for me.
so now it was heading back to the hotel to meet the good lady after two years. Watch out, watch out, the Graceland. 